Hello there traders. Uh, for today's session I decide to cover USD versus Canadian dollar. I also speak about the pound dollar and the gold market. Um, I will start with the USD Canadian dollar first. So on this currency pair what I found basically is there is a breakout of the three day, I will say the three day consolidation here. Um, market became very um, very light and very narrow range of, ranges uh, from uh, for the day in the, in the last couple of days and there was a technically a breakout to the upside today so technically this is the breakout mode and my advice will be to watch for a, a buying opportunities on the pullbacks on this currency pair speaking of the next levels on this potential upside objectives on first upside objectives I will say the price 1.2589 uh, and 1.2605 I can see the next pivot levels on the USD Canadian dollar in case there's some really big breakout of this and strong volume and there is even a chance for 1.2780 to be on the test. But step by step, step, by step first area to watch I will say 1.2589. That will be a, that one. So breakout model going on of the tight range and upside breakout is going on. The next one is pound dollar which is technically uh, trading very sideways and we got some narrow day outside day down day up day so this is a very very big consolidation um, volume is very low um, volatility is on the decreased mode um, so I'll say also watch for resistance and maybe break of the 1.3895 uh, to confirm some upside move <clears throat> and then potential test of 1.39 45 or 1.39980 but in case of the downside breakout of the lows at 1.3785 this can even go down to 1.3720 zone and so so for now it's basically consolidation but breakout mode can be on and speaking of the goal <coughs> gold basically reached the 20 day average and just found some sellers so we got a little follow through and the downside rotation already which is for now giving us some negative negative tone for for the gold we got a three days up a two day low to high one day neutral um, and again volume is not picking up if we check the volume on this market <clears throat> on the futures market their volume is still below the average so this is like a post climax effect still for me and the major resistance 1790 uh, 1789 um, which is we were very close to test that and now 20 day average is like main main area there we already got some rejection so uh, i will say we might see some downside rotation from this zone here it's looking like a big resistance on the round in the middle of the keltner line of 20 day average there so watch for potential some downside rotation there that'll be all for today and see you all tomorrow morning